Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Virgo, please? Ten of Swords, Gemini Energy at... The foundation, Virgo, there is a major karmic cycle closing out right now in your life. I feel like you guys are moving on. Some of you could literally be moving right now. There is an energy of major movement here. There's some sort of cycle that you've been in for a very long time. It's just been kind of trickling on, I feel, for the past year, to be honest with you. Some of you have already moved on from this energy, but there was an energy that was still lingering around, things that were unresolved. It's an energy here of the darkness before the dawn is what I'm feeling, Virgo. There's a huge turning point. And finally, there's some sort of complete ending to some sort of matter here is what I'm picking up. What do we have at the sacral? Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There was somebody you were dealing with, Virgo, that brought a lot of instability into your life, a lot of ungroundedness. This is a very weak person. I feel like this person could be an alcoholic, quite possibly a drug addict, something else. I feel like there was a period of time where you lost yourself in this person's energy. It's that kind of person where it's like you have to give your entire life to them. Some of you could have been married to this person. It could be a family member. It could be a work dynamic. Just take it as it fits here. But this is a very smothering, very insecure, very codependent on your energy kind of individual. I am getting the energy here of a very low vibrational cancer, male or female. Doesn't have to be, though. That's just what I'm picking up here for uh, quite a lot of you. I think it's going to be a low vibrational cancer you've been dealing with, to be honest with you. What do we have at the solar plexus? Solar plexus, please. Two of wands, Aries energy at the solar plexus. This individual brought a lot of turbulence into your life. I feel like in some capacities, Virgo, this person for a period of time had some sort of dominion over you. But I don't think this is something that was happening consciously. It's like... They were doing things behind the scenes that you didn't know about. So it made them feel like they had power over you. If this was somebody you were in a relationship with, it could have been somebody who um, was cheating on you. But I'm just getting energy here where I feel like there was a lot of control that you lost over your life during the duration of this relationship. But I feel now you've stepped back into your own personal power. You're actually progressing forward, making plans for the future. I feel for the first time in a very long time, Virgo, you're actually seeing your way forward clearly. Without the negative influence of this person's energy, creating some sort of a filter over how you perceive your environment. This is a very, very toxic energy that I'm picking up on here from this individual. What do we have at the heart, please? Too many cards. What do we have at the heart? What do we have at the heart, please? Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy at the heart. Yeah, there's a lot of gossip. A lot of truth, I feel, is about to come out surrounding this individual this is similar to the aries reading you might want to check that out i feel like a lot of you have moved on from this individual already but there was something that was unresolved some sort of closure still needed to happen in regards to a truth something that happened that you never ever got the truth around i feel you're about to get even though i feel a lot of you have moved on it's going to allow you to move on energetically speaking. So 
you won't have to think about it or analyze the situation anymore. I feel like it's going to come from a very unsuspecting place. There's a lot of gossip surrounding this situation. I also feel like you have a lot of eyes on you, Virgo. Because you're moving forward. You're not allowing this energy to hold you back. Not holding on to any sort of resentment which leads to bitterness. Which leads to you having a blocked heart chakra. You're ready for a new beginning here, Virgo. I feel you guys have been working very hard to bring this into your material environment. What do we have at the throat, please? What do we have at the throat? Eight of Swords, Gemini Energy, Lord of Shortened Force. Virgo, it was very hard for you to see a way through these circumstances. I feel like there was a lot of pettiness, a lot of conflict. This person thought they were real clever in the way they handled you. They hid a lot from you. I feel that they affected your money. I feel you lost a lot because of this individual. But there's some sort of sudden clarity that's about to come through for you. That's going to allow you to release this energy. See, Eight of Swords is the energy of feeling imprisoned, mentally speaking. I feel like there's some sort of energy that's still holding on to you. You're about to be liberated from this, Virgo. There's an energy of freedom here. What do we have at the third eye? High Priestess Pisces energy at the third eye. Virgo, this situation, as difficult as it's been, has woken you up spiritually, without a doubt. I feel that you found yourself spiritually speaking, which is allowing you to look at this situation as something that needed to take place. And I know, Virgo, it's very hard to admit that sometimes, but you're about to be blessed in a way from this particular spiritual awakening that's taken place in your life that's going to make you see that everything was happening in a divine order. There's a lot of high vibrational spiritual energy around you right now. You're allowing the inner silent voice to guide you. You're no longer fearing the unknown. This is an energy of your intuition firing on all cylinders right there at the third eye. Trust the guidance you're getting, Virgo. It's right on target. What do we have at the crown? Death. Scorpio energy at the crown. Unbelievable. I've gotten the death card from multiple decks a lot today. Even just this past few days I've been doing readings. But it makes sense because we are in Scorpio season. But what I'm getting here is confirmation that I feel that some sort of energy is going to start shifting in this season of Scorpio, which we're in right now. This is the phoenix rising from the ashes. This is the energy of transformation, Virgo. This is you letting go of any unnecessary or outmoded influences. This is all about surrendering to something much bigger, no longer fearing change. This is a complete energy of rebirth. The snakes being illuminated in your life, right? There you are, the eagle, having risen from the ashes, like an apex predator, plucking these snakes out of your life. I feel like this represents your spirit guides all around you. This energy is working behind the scenes to transform your life, bring illumination, and place you in a new timeline. What do we have at the foundation, please, from the occult tarot? See what demon's trying to keep my Virgo's root chakra blocked? Oh, Six of Swords, Seer. Right, just as I thought. Aquarius energy. This is Six of Swords in reverse energy. This is an energy of stagnation, not being able to move on. It's an energy of feeling stuck, carrying other people's baggage. Oh, imagine that, huh? This is what this person is expecting is going to take place here, Virgo. 
This person wants you to hold on to their baggage forever. They want you to feel stuck at a dead end, not able to move on. But this person is in for a very rude awakening. Because I feel the divine is starting to show you glimpses of this ten of swords and this individual and the painful rock bottom ending that they will now have all around them in every area of their life. This person is about to be walloped by the universe. What do we have at the sacral? What are we going to take here? Too many cards. What do we have at the sacral, please? Nine of Wands, Sag Energy, Marchosius. This is an energy of all this isolation ending in your life. Feeling this energy of resistance. Even though you've moved on, I feel like this energy, because it was holding on to you in some capacity, it was making you feel kind of isolated. Like you couldn't move on. Like, I don't know, I'm just kind of getting the energy of feeling a bit closed off, Virgo. Which that's the result of a blocked heart chakra which is very common when you go through karmic cycles like this. Just be aware of that and start releasing that energy. Don't allow them to have any energy in your new timeline. Don't allow them to have any sort of real estate, energetically speaking. Don't blame anybody else for what this individual put you through. Keep pushing forward despite any setbacks this situation has brought into your life. What do we have at the solar plexus? Queen of Cups, we have it again. So I read these as reversals. So this is Queen of Cups in reverse again. And whenever I get this card, it looks like a peacock on crack, right? Somebody who's just very discombobulated. I feel like this person could look like this. Maybe they drink a lot. Maybe they're always out of it. I'm heavy energy of alcoholic here or a drug addict. Somebody who's just completely out of their mind. This person needs some serious help. Not only with their codependencies, but on a mental level. This person is uh, very, very toxic. Needs to, uh, you know, maybe be put in a padded cell for a period of time is what I'm picking up here, Virgo. What do we have at the heart, please? What do we have at the heart? Andras, folly. So this is chariot in reverse energy. So this is an energy of delays. It's a very domineering energy. This is the energy they wanted to bring into your life. They wanted you to give up, lack direction. Just give in to them, Virgo. Just give in. You're like, what? What are you talking about? I'm not giving in to you. You're just a drunk peacock. This person could be one of those people as well, like whenever you're out in public with them, they have to be the center of attention. Like they're always peacocking, right? Very loud individual is what I'm picking up here. This is the energy you are now moving into. So we're going from the demons to the angels. Annual, perception of unity, which is the six of swords from the angel tarot. So we have the Six of Swords twice now. We have it in reverse, and we have it upright. So you go from this energy of them trying to stagnate you into you now moving forward. This is you moving beyond any sort of pain that this individual or this circumstance brought into your life. Able to finally release, because you're getting some sort of truth that's coming through. What do we have at the throat? Boom. Ace of Swords, and there it is. There's that truth. Yamabel, God above all names elevated. Affinity and friendship, obtain the friendship of anyone. And there you are having victory over this individual. So this is that mental clarity. This is that truth now coming through. This is an energy of raw power and victory. Once this truth comes through, Virgo, this is it. You will never have to look back in this situation ever again. What do we have at the third eye, please? Queen of Wands, Elamia. The hidden God. Divine power. Guards against mental troubles. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Virgo, you're under divine guidance. 
Listen to your intuition. Further confirmation around this high priestess at the third eye. You're in this energy of self-mastery. Very vibrant, very confident, high vibrational energy. You have nothing to worry about. You've done nothing wrong, Virgo. Stand in your truth. Stand in your power. And kick back and watch the fireworks, Virgo. What do we have at the crown, please? Perfect strength. Hakamiya, Leo energy at the crown to close out the reading. The raising God. Loyalty. Delivery from those who seek to oppress brings victory. And here's all your spirit guides lifting you up, right? You're like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I was finally able to release that trifling demon from my energetic field. You are very divinely guided right now, Virgo. You're very protected. Keep nurturing yourself. There's a focus on self-love here. Make sure you're eating well, taking care of your health. This is going to reinforce you during this transition in your life. Simply put, Virgo, just make sure you're loving on yourself, okay? Spoil yourself. You deserve it. You've been through a lot. This is all about to be over, Virgo. Virgo, this is the energy that's available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Virgo. Take care.